So now we've gone through and we've cleaned up the sound bite so that it makes more sense, so that it's easier to follow along. This past summer, my So now we have this nice clean sound bite, but you'll notice that there is a little problem. One time in New York City, we did the freedom Her head jumps, it snaps, Boston. it's a jump cut. And we don't want our viewers to see that jump cut. So the reason why we shoot all of that sequencing and all the things we've talked about already in this workshop is to not only illustrate the point, but to hide a lot of these jump cuts in an interview. I'm gonna go back and get some media. I'll go back and I will bring in some footage that helps to illustrate the point. Uh, she talks about New York City. Uh, we've got footage here of, uh, of uh, Statue of Liberty. We've got Times Square. Uh, we've got kids talking, uh, playing on the beach. We've got uh, Nantucket for when she talks about going to Nantucket. She talks about Boston. Um, and those are probably the things that I'll need. I could grab all of them, but no real need. It brings it in. And now you'll notice that we have more media that's in our, our, our viewer. Uh, I can take the uh, shot of the ferry boat, probably a good place to start. And instead of putting it on the same track as my interview, I'm going to start leveraging the tracks that are above uh, to um, play video at the same time as uh, our interview is going on. And I'm not going to immediately put it over the top. I'm going to drag it to the end of my timeline to clean up the shot and, and get it to where I want it and then move it into position to prep the shot in essence. So I can play it here. It's a little shaky. We'll move forward. And I cleaned up the beginning using the same technique I used earlier. And I don't need all the shot. I'll just, it's probably uh, only gonna need about that much of it. I'll clean up all the end of this. I could have used the, the, uh, the scissors to cut off the end. Uh, both are equally effective. Uh, and now I'm going to use the playhead to find where I want to put this shot. My husband and my four teenage children took a family vacation back east. We spent some time in New Mexico. Probably when she says we spent some time. That's probably a good place. And now I can take this clip and I can slide it back on video layer two and put it right to where the playhead is. And when we watch it now, back east, we spent some time in New York City. That's good, but man, that audio is very loud. Well, the nice thing about is that I can bring up tools to adjust the audio level. And the way I access those tools in this application is where the speaker is, and it says audio two for this clip there's a little toggle button, a little triangle. And when I click it and turn it so it's pointing down, you'll notice that a yellow line appears in my audio. And this is the volume, the gain for the audio. And I can adjust that gain. I can zoom in so that I have a little bit better view of it. And I can take that and I can pull it down. And you'll notice that it gives me a number. Uh, minus 22 is where we're at right now. We spent some time in New York City. I adjusted the volume so that the background sound isn't competing with what she has to say. So. East, we spent some time in New York. And you know, I may move this clip a little earlier. My four teenage children took a family vacation. I think I'm going to move it to took a family vacation back east because this looks like back east. Teenage children took a family vacation back east. We spent some time in Massachusetts. So I'm going to go to my next shot when we talk about New York City. I'm going to grab the end of this, pull it up, and we've got footage of Times Square here. And we'll just take and slide that so it touches the previous clip back east we spent some time in the oh goodness the audio is really loud again so I'll bring the audio down a little east we spent some time in New York City and by having city this shot of Times Square overlap our previous edit in the audio 
the audience is no longer going to see that audio edit. Back east, we spent some time in New York City. We did the Freedom Trail in Boston. And so now we've gone through and we've hidden that, ele we've, we've hidden that edit in such a way that we don't have uh, a jump cut in the middle of it. And when we watch it continuously. Teenage children took a family vacation back east. We spent some time in New York City. We did the Freedom Trail in Boston. So we've been working with, um, with all sorts of video files. What if I want to incorporate a still, a, a, a photograph? Up here, we have a photo of the family uh, in the rainstorm in, in Boston. And just like video, I can select it and I can drag it down to the timeline. I could drag it down to video too, but for today, because this is a photograph rather than video, it's just a little easier for me to manage my assets if I have particular assignments. This is just the way I like to manage it. It's for me to be able to stay clear on what things are. I'll put all of my talking heads, all of the interview on track one. I'll put all of my cover footage on track two. And then anything else, graphics or still photographs, I'll start putting on track three. That way when I'm editing, I can immediately find things because I know where they are. I know what tracks, uh, what job I've given each track, so to speak. So I've dropped the photograph up here. We did the Freedom Trail in Boston. So there's the Freedom Trail in Boston. Now, if I want to go from this photograph of, time, of this video of Times Square to this photograph, if I give some additional footage underneath this, I can add a dissolve from this shot to the photograph. And they make it really quite easily in Premiere because I can touch Edit, and there are transitions. And by selecting this, it gives me all sorts of transitions. Uh, I would like a cross dissolve, and I can literally take it and drop it at the beginning of my clip. And now... We did the Freedom Trail. It's a little long, so I'd like to make it a little shorter. City. We did the Freedom Trail in Boston. And then the highlight of the trip was uh, Nantucket. So now it's time to see Nantucket. We'll go back to our project. And this is where we've got the, uh, 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 the uh, lighthouse. I can drop that here. Wait for it to stabilize. There, the shot is a little smooth. It was a little shaky at the beginning, so I've, I've grabbed it so that it's a little smoother. And I can then find where she says. And then the highlight of the trip was uh, Nantucket. Was Nantucket. Was uh, Nantucket where we spent some time relaxing. And then we're relaxing on the beach. That's when I'll go to the footage of the kids playing in the waves. And, I've, and you'll see that my rhythm is the same. Yeah. Where I am taking an asset, bringing it into the end of my timeline, finding where I want to begin and end, uh, making a best guess on what I think the volume level should be, and then sliding it up to where I want it. It becomes a very... Spent some time relaxing on the beach. And then we'll, let's say we're done there. I can press the scissors. I can select the end to get rid of it and press the delete key. We've now created a very simple little sequence, very quickly, of someone talking and teenage illustrating children the points. Teenage children took a family vacation. Four teenage children took a family vacation back east. We spent some time in New York City. We did the Freedom Trail in Boston. And then the highlight of the trip was uh, Nantucket, where we spent some time relaxing on the beach. I can add a transition at the end uh, to where it fades to black. And I can make that a little shorter. Relaxing on the beach. My point in walking you through this wasn't to teach you editing in just a couple minutes. It's a process that requires a lot of practice. But I wanted to give you a better understanding of how we leverage all of the assets we capture in the field. Why it's important to get a great interview and then to edit that interview down to the essence of what the person is trying to say. It's also important to go through and gather all of that cover footage that illustrate and amplify the emotional and intellectual point of your story. And how we can then leverage those assets in the story, easily using it within the timeline to craft a story that tells a larger 
more impactful story than, than just maybe a talking head. Um, Premier Elements is just one solution. Uh, as I said, there are many of them out there, whether you're working with Vegas, Premier Pro, uh, uh, Avid, whether you're working with Final Cut Pro. Uh, the idea here is to just sort of demystify the process of editing and hopefully give you the confidence to give it a try.